In this video, I'm actually going to be talking about a connection between Julius Caesar and the bolt throwers in Warhammer. I've been rereading Caesar's commentary De Bello Gallico. These are Julius Caesar's commentaries during the Roman conquest of Gaul. If you've never read this text before, I don't know what you're doing with your life. They're really amazing. You should really read them. Uh, I bring this up because there are many sieges throughout the text, and the Romans were very proficient in utilizing uh, torsion artillery of various sizes. One of those contraptions is called a scorpion. Uh, it's a small anti-infantry weapon that would basically shoot or fire like a small dart or spear, there have been a lot of uh, bolt throwers throughout the history of Warhammer, from orcs and goblins, both high and dark elves, the dwarves, and even the relatively new Stormcast Ballista. The one that I want to zero in on is the goblin spear chucka of the Compendium fame. So this was a weapon that shot between one and two shots at 36 inches. It hit on a 4+, plus, wounded on a 3+, plus. it had minus 2 rend, and did D3 damage. It was a fun little model, and it had a rule called get the one with the big hat that allowed you to, to get basically plus one to hit when targeting a character. Now because of a passage in Julius Caesar's report, this little assassination unit has always been stuck in my head. Keep in mind that this is a text written as a report to the Senate of Rome and the people of Rome, and most of the time it describes the strategies and broad battles of the campaign in broad sweeps. But once in a while, Caesar makes a point to single out unique instances, peculiarities, and basically the greatest hits of the Roman army. So this is from a section, uh, this is from section 25 of the seventh book. To set the scene, the passage describes the Romans attacking a Gaulish settlement called uh, Avericum where they've built a large siege ramp, and the Gauls are doing everything they can to basically light that on fire. So this is part of the campaign against uh, Vercingetorix, and the campaign would soon reach the walls of Alicia. So speaking for Julius Caesar, here it is. The rest of the night had passed, but fighting was still going on everywhere, as the enemy's hopes of victory were renewed again and again. And this all the more since they saw that the protective screens on the siege towers had been burned away. Without that cover, they noticed, the Romans could not easily come forward to support those fighting. The Gauls themselves, on the other hand, could always bring up fresh forces to relieve their exhausted comrades. And they were convinced that the deliverance of all Gaul depended on what was happening at that very moment. While all this was going on, and we were watching the action, Something happened that seemed worthy of record. The fact that Caesar actually thinks this is you know, worthy of record is just hilarious to me. So to continue. So we decided that we should not leave it out. There was a gull standing in front of a town gate. Clods of tallow and pitch were passed from hand to hand to him, which he kept thrown into the fire in the vicinity of the siege tower. A scorpion of ours drove a projectile straight through his right side, and he fell down dead. One of the Gauls near him stepped over his body where it lay, and began to perform the same task. The catapult shot and killed him in exactly the same way. A third man stepped in to replace the second, and then a fourth to replace the third. That spot was not defend abandoned by the defenders until a fire on the siege ramp was put out, and enemy forces were swept away everywhere and the fighting had ended. It's kind of brutal. But that, my friends, is the Goblin Spear Checker. 